what is happening guys welcome back to another video it's your boy kicks coming at you live from the m3 Bodie. uh we don't stop for those green means go yellow means go but if you slow don't go <laughs> hope you guys are all doing well i'm doing great can't complain man another day another blessing you already know the vibes we're hopping straight into this video no bs uh, what we got going on today not a whole lot man you guys see the title uh, pretty much it's going to be working on the s15 all day I'm going to attempt no how i said attempt to put the rear pods on spats whatever you want to call them and the side splitters on um it's not like that hard it's more just a time consuming kind of thing so yeah basically it's going to require a lot of drilling which i'm not the biggest fan of i really hate drilling shit, dude because like if you mess up it's you mess up yeah it feels good to uh have the M340 back. I didn't have it for a week. <laughs> uh. All right, guys, off to the shoe palace. Just like that, we had the shoe palace. <laughs> so, finally went to Harbor Freight and got one of these. I've been meaning to buy one of these, I just haven't. Been super tired of laying on the floor when I'm under this damn car. So, finally got one of those. And yeah, man, I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna start with the uh, rear spats. I'm gonna have to carefully Drill a hole here, here, and then there's gonna be like another one under, another one. So yeah, basically I just gotta do some drilling. I don't know if everyone does it, but most people use some kind of sealant to kind of like stick it on there. But I'm gonna see how well the fitment is without doing that. Hopefully we can make this work. I'm probably gonna have to remove this bolt and this one so that way I can just drill through completely. Ah oh, man, this gonna look so much better. And after these are on, all I need is the side splitters, man. And this car, exterior-wise, is like done. It does not need anything. I know there's a lot of people out there that want to go to the extreme and do all kind of shit to these cars, but I like my shit simple. So I took out that one, took out that one, and basically what I'm gonna be putting there, replacing it with is one of these long ones. Like I mentioned in, I think one of the other videos, uh, this does not sit flat with this part. Even though it looks like it might, it doesn't. There's probably about that much gap, so you have to put a long ass bolt. All right guys, I think we good. I mean, it's on there. There's like some gasket stuff I could put behind this and uh, like seal that overnight and it should be good. I mean, as far as over here, fitment is not bad, I guess. Like I said, they are aftermarket, so I can't expect too much. It looks so much better. You guys can't tell me that doesn't look so much better. I mean, you can't really see the small splitter. There you go, but once I have the side splitter on, I just get a good look at this side, and let's go over here. It's just so bare, bro. <laughs> It just looks so off and out of place. All right, well, one down, one more to go. Hopefully we can do the other side just as good. And uh, yeah, maybe we have to get to these side splitters. That's gonna be a pain in the ass for sure. Just hopefully the other side comes out just as good. Welcome to Fresh Body Shop. Bro, that looks so much better. Like, that is crazy the difference that it makes. Like, honestly. Wow. It needed that. Alright, guys. Let's do another one. For a person that doesn't pay attention to detail on a car, you probably wouldn't even really notice it. But if you pay attention to detail, then it makes a really, really big difference. Especially when I've been rocking this shit since I've owned the car like this. It just bothers the shit out of me. Look how plain it looks. And even just a spat alone is nice, but we have the extension on it too, so it definitely adds to the flavor. And it's the same company that makes the front lip, which is Flow Designs in Australia. I have the side splitter too. I'll pull that out in a second. But um, yeah, man, I can't wait to get everything on. 
it's all gonna flow together. This is not meant to look super nice. It's more meant to be like super durable. If your car is low, like mine's, like you could beat the shit out of the slip and it's it's gonna it's gonna last. There is a shit ton of bolts too. I think there's like maybe 15 or like 20 all the way around. Dude, that thing's on there. <laughs> so, oh bruh, so much better. I mean, I do hate that you see the screws right there, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, we got the OEM ones right here, so it doesn't really make that big of a difference. All right, guys. We are all good. The fitment on this side is actually a lot better. Don't know why, but it is. This is without any 3M or anything, and it's solid. This one's not going anywhere. Damn fool, you got hydraulics on that shit? Now, to these side splitters. So I have to drill 12 holes, nut and a bolt basically. Um, yeah, don't know how difficult that is gonna be because I don't know what's in the way. On the website for installation, you're supposed to take off the side skirt completely, but I ain't got time for that shit. I'm just gonna start on this side since it's already up. And yeah, we'll figure it out, man, and we'll be back. Whew. All right, guys, well, I will tell you this. Doing this on the car is a bitch. Like, not a bitch, it's a bitch. <laughs> so here's most of the hardware. Ton of hardware, right? Yeah. So it's just because, let me show you why it's a bitch. <sighs> So basically I already lined it up, I already started drilling all the holes, that's going to be the easiest way. And normally when you pull clips off that haven't been off for a while, they tend to break. And I just didn't want to deal with it, so I don't know. For this last one I'm definitely, because there's no way that I can get in there. And we should be able to get all of the other ones on though without too much of a hassle. Give you guys a better look at how it's going to look, I think it's going to sit like right there. Alright guys, we are back. And I pretty much got the entire side splitter on. I think a lot of man, this shit was a bitch to put on without having the side skirt completely off. There's just like hardly any room to get your fingers in there and like get the uh, nut on top of the bolt. So yeah, it has a pain in the ass. So I think I just need to put like two or three more bolts and it'll be fully like solid. And that thing is not going anywhere. I mean, it's already <laughs> solid. Like that thing's not going nowhere. Look at that, man. Front lip, side splitter, got the rear splitter with the spat now. Look at that already. It makes such a big difference. Damn, it shit looks good. All right guys, well I'm hungry, so I'm gonna head home real quick, grab some grub, and uh, I'll be back here to uh, finish this side up and tackle the other side. 3,000 years later. All right guys, it is finally time to drop this thing on the floor. We are done. Woo, that was a bitch. Guys probably can't see it that well in here, but it's all complete now. Finally, bro. All right, so um, I'm still waiting on my fuel rail situation to be sorted out um, so I can put the other manifold on. And then at that point, I'll go ahead and do the hood pins. Hood pins, and honestly, there's really like nothing else that I wanna do for the car. Uh, I might get like uh, overseas, like plate, you know, something like more rectangle, not like a US plate. I mean, I could take it to my guy and have him like bondo and clear all this up and just make it solid, but then I still feel like it's gonna look stupid. So, <laughs> I might as well just put some kind of plate there. I am so satisfied how this car is coming out. God damn, this thing looks so good, bro. It looks so freaking good. Like videos, obviously it looks clean, but I'm telling you guys, when you see this in person, on this wheel setup, like currently how it looks with the whole aero kit, bruh, it is so freaking clean. And I have yet to do any paint correction, any wax on this car. Like this is just how it looks. <laughs> I haven't even had time to get an alignment yet. So it's like, there's obviously still stuff I wanna do, but we are getting very close to the end game. 
of how I want this car sitting. So I am gonna throw Akibonas on this thing. I don't know when, I'm not in a rush. So when I put them on here, I was like, damn, they stop hella good. So I can only imagine how good those brakes will stop on this car. Like stopping power is gonna be insane. Shit, probably do a damn front flip. <laughs> well, I finished everything I wanted to finish today. I don't think I'll end the video here because it'll probably be really short. So um, when I bring it out tomorrow, I'll probably just continue the video. But we'll be back here tomorrow. What is happening guys, welcome back. We are hopping back in this video. It's on the feet. Okay, okay, BC3. You know, I'm not working on the car today so I could bring the heaters out. And look what I got. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. World's most expensive stickers. I'm gonna be putting those on real quick just to add to the drip. You know. I hate doing this shit because I always feel like I do it wrong and it's not even, but I think that one came out pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy what just a small decal does. I was gonna do the SL style uh, stickers, you know, it's a full spoke like how I have on the M340, but um, I was like, nah, I'll do the OG. I think it looks good because it's black and white. All right, guys. All the decals are on. Looking spiffy. Bro, I think I did a great job on all of them except one. Literally because the shit was like upside down. <laughs> this one I think came out pretty good. This one right here, man. I mean, other people probably won't notice it, but look. That shit crooked to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, ugh, OCD. I'm gonna make me spend another $80 on damn decals just to get one more. But whatever, it's cool. Definitely looks a lot better. Clean. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I drive this car, I don't talk too much. I just be enjoying this shit, man. It's been so long. I can't wait to go E85. I'm hella tired of smelling this 91. <laughs> shit smell like ass, bro. I think this is gonna be my last 91 take. I might have to put a little bit of gas in it today, but yeah, I'm tired of this shit. So let me get that 85 map, please. All right guys, sorry, I left my camera. <laughs> Man, she looks so good, bro. The spats and the side splitter for sure. What's up, man? Still don't like me or not? Nah? <laughs> okay, all right, my bad. Still doesn't, still don't like me. All right? Man, I'm mad I forgot my camera, man. This is supposed to be exquisite content. to move.
Alright, you guys can stop harassing me about my steering wheel being crooked. You happy? No hands. Shout out my guy, man. Best tire shop, Montana. Always taking care of my needs. Nah, it's a lot better. About this car is like it just gets so many compliments by random people like out of everything that I've owned like you guys know I've owned a lot of like pretty cool cars this one gets the most compliments out of all of them crazy <laughs> I mean I don't know if it's because like people just don't see right-hand drive cars and they just kind of trip out and like damn that's sick or if it's more just like that car just looks nice as shit <laughs> I don't know I think the car just looks nice as shit in my opinion like, bro, like, Nismo GTR R8, like, I never really had random people like, bro, that's a beautiful car, you know? But when this thing is out, compliments are coming. People were guessing if I still had driver mob or right-hand drive. Come on, now. she is alignment is all done stickers are on the wheels rear spats are on side splitters we got a full arrow now this is easily becoming like one of my favorite cars out of everything obviously nothing is topping the z that's always going to be bae <laughs> nothing's going to top that but if i had a secondary choice out of everything including like the r8 the nismo gtr i don't know man it's just something about this car it's just I don't know. It's like one of those things I can't explain. Like, I've always had a crazy thing for S15s. Like, obviously, everybody loves R34 GTRs. I mean, maybe not everybody, but that's everybody's, like, dream car. You know, dream JDM car. I, I would say it's one of mine. Like, I would love to own one one day. But uh, something that's affordable and more obtainable, the S15 to me just makes a lot more sense. I mean, you think about it, like, you could buy an S15 for, like, I don't know the market right now, 35 45k us price and then you know you could swap it put whatever you want 2j rb whatever you want ls if that's what makes you happy you know you could spend another 15 20k on top of the build and you can have a really unique s15 that looks beautiful this car will still look good next to an r34 and that's what i love about it so i am above and beyond supporting this build right here like i love this car I cannot wait to finish it up and do all the rest of the stuff I want to do. But since she's been getting so much love, the Z is going to be getting some more love too. Um, I actually have all the stuff that I need to unbox. I finally got the whole kit. We have a bigger intercooler, bigger turbo, manifold, and a downpipe for this thing. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll probably be doing an unboxing, showing you guys all that. I still haven't unboxed it myself. So um, stay tuned for that. I'm going to be maxing this motor out, I guess, whatever it makes. 850, 900, 899, blows up. I don't know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned for that, guys. So on that note, I'm gonna end the video here. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys in the next video.